It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another game. This is going to be from the Replay Request series and will be by none other than Daki who is spawning on the top right as the two orc player. Let's switch up the color so that we can have a better uh, understanding of what's going on, on the, uh, with the teams. And we team blue and team yellow, Daki on the top side uh, with team blue. Is ally Eogretri, also known as Azzy Azzy, uh, undead and orc. They're gonna be going up against. Oh wow, best myself already kind of delayed with his build here. He didn't. Oh wow, he was AFK. <laughs> Jockey says you're in for show, Stormy. All right, that sounds good. That already sounds good. By the way, this is my newly reinstalled Warcraft 3, so I don't know if this is gonna be any better. But if it is. Cool, and also I noticed my webcam isn't on. There we go. Uh, you need my smiling face there. How can you not have my people on the stream? So we got uh, Best Myself 15 who has a sort of a... Well, this is fully a delayed build order, but he's been like AFK for about uh, 30 to 15 to 30 seconds. So that's going to be affecting him a lot. And his ally, Knight UD. Knight and dead perhaps. And... Uh, this one's gonna be spawning at the left side at the bottom. Yellow undead. Uh, yeah, undead and human versus undead and orc. Let's see who will come out on top. As we got trees handing out the crazy Steve Scout Acolyte going in towards the opponent side to know what is cooking. Doki hasn't sent out his uh, Scout Peon just yet. I don't think he will. And we have an interesting choice of heroes. Doki is coming in with a Torn Chieftain in this game. I doubt that I've seen Torn Chieftain first uh, any time uh, any any time earlier. By the way, I had a crazy idea when you were talking about this. You actually have some blight over here that's not visible to the player. And okay, Night Duty going in for the for the Impaler, the Crypt Lord. Best myself will be delayed because the entire build was delayed. He was AFK for the first 15 seconds. So let's see what he goes in for. Archmage, okay. This isn't even the Pally Rifle build by my understanding. Although he did send in some uh, militias, some peasants to go for the lumber early on. No blacksmith drop though. And this is gonna be Dreadlord as the hero for AZ. AZ as he is going in for a mass uh, to play. It seems he doesn't really have a second trip or uh, more Ziggurats down yet though. Has a lot of capacity. Torn Chieftain out with the Endurance Aura, we're gonna go after some creeps with some headhunters coming in from the back line. So I really like this gameplay by Azzy and Jockey, where uh, Jockey is left to go in for the ranged in the back line with the headhunters that can be upgraded into Berserkers later on. Azzy is going in for the melee with the ghouls and the Vampiric Aura of uh, the Dreadlord. This can be followed up with the Death Knight second with coming in with Unholy Aura and you already have the advantage of the Endurance Aura so uh, Team Blue is going to have a lot of speed on their side Team Red, uh, Team Yellow are the on the other hand For the time being we don't really have too much information on what's going to happen on this side The only uh, downfall that they do have is that Best Myself was AFK for some time and he only just uh, basically got his hero and uh, he got some experience how did he get the experience? Did he kill Steve? I have a feeling he killed Steve. If Steve did uh, go out of his base. I I think I have a good feeling he did kill Steve. Jockey gonna engage then disengage. Although Jockey definitely had more number of units there. He just oh Jockey just acknowledged that yes, uh, Steve was a part of uh, this fight and Steve did succumb to best myself. By the way, the game's not lagging like it used to uh, somehow reinstalling reforged made things better so Jockey's gonna have to deal with these footmen right now they're dealing a lot of damage on those headhunters it should actually back out only the ones that are weak and let all the others attack uh, that's how you should be doing it positioning is everything if we got one of them weak just maneuver it around all the others just circle it around and one of the footmen gets taken out that's really gonna be the thing there. We got an engagement on the other side as well. Oh, three, three, Azzy about to get loose his dreadlord there. You forced to use the TP and gonna get back to his base. 
it appears to me that we had a melee going on over here and uh, Knight UD decided to go for the Mega Surround over there and just tried to take out the hero with force the TP. Doctor doing pretty well over here, taking out two footmen and a headhunter should put down the healing sound on it right away. Level two on that torrent chieftain. What are we gonna have? Shockwave, stomp, likely stomp. Yep, we're gonna have stomp. I guess hero on the left side for the booster. It is a, a player's forces are under attack. That can players. There's a button that can change players, like in 2v2s that's gonna be useful, but I don't know how do you do that. There's a shortcut, the keyboard somewhere, that allows you to change the player player's uh, perspective in the replay. Anyways, Night Beauty going in for the Goblin Merchant Ham in the middle. Uh, Avalanche is kind of a funny map at times if you look at it. A tavern in the middle, uh, mercenary camps against uh, that adjacent to it, and the and right opposite to the mercenary camps are goblin, uh, goblin merchants. And uh, you have some rocks over here that you can destroy to secure a pocket expansion. Uh, these are actually very easily defendable expansions, and if you may clear out the other rock chunks over here, uh, that can actually lead to lead you to your ally, creating another pathway. Which is an interesting mechanic and I strongly feel it should be adapted into some of the newer maps. The rock chunks are a part of the Warcraft 3 game and uh, although it's a staple, uh, something like this is a very staple in Starcraft. I believe this can really work out well in Warcraft as well as Jockey and uh, Kree just cleared out their chunk of rocks. And uh, they're gonna go in for the assault on the expansion camp here. They can actually take both of them out right away and then expand at their ease. This is really the best uh, thing about Avalanche here. The pocket expansions are easily securable and uh, easily expandable as well. Each uh, zone basically has these fountains that can be uh, secured for the healing as well. So you got a lot, a lot of advantages. You basically have a nice little uh, portion on your side that uh, uh, the map is basically kind of like your ally over here in this game as Jockey and uh, Tree reach level 3 on their perspective heroes. The other side UD and Dead or rather Knight UD is going uh, gotten triple out to level 3. We got best myself actually kind of uh, reaching there as well as he went in for the uh, fountain camp. Oh he's already at tier 2 putting down lumber mill and uh, already getting his caster so despite of uh, having his late game there he is actually catching up and he is actually gonna be able to face against uh, Jockey and uh, Tree's army right now as uh, uh oh this is gonna be bad Jockey and Tree about to creep jack UD Knight UD force to run back and Jockey and Tree immediately using the speed scroll to carry a swarm but they won't be able to kill anything right now although that was a good attempt though I really love how they pounced over that fiend they all got it to 50% and uh, I don't know, perhaps could have killed it if it was a, like a second early or something. You're gonna get rings of protection plus four, and, uh, and I believe a gauntlet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It was something. And oh, scourge bone chimes. Uh, why do you have scourge bone chimes? Scourge bone chimes was probably the most useless item that you could have been, you could have secured. But that is what you have right now, and you really just want to drop it away. And uh, I like how Jockey is uh, securing the expansion towards the inner side. So if your opponent actually tries to go in and check for the expansion here, and if he just leaves without checking here, <laughs> he won't, he won't come to know. And since the rock chunks aren't cleared over here, this is actually a brilliant play. Uh, this is something that two v two players should note down for Avalanche uh, when they are having a game on Avalanche. This is something you can do. Just don't break the other side of the rocks. Break one side and expand towards the inner side. So. Your opponent uh, will have to actually go till that point to be able to know if there's an expansion and most likely they're not gonna do that they're not gonna have uh, the opportunity to do that at times because uh, they're pretty close by to your base You're, they're likely gonna bump into one of your, your own units that are gonna detect that uh, there's somebody there and then that'll be lead to a distraction or something if that made sense probably made sense Death Knight, second hero for Knight UD. 
and whoa, Jockey actually going in for wow. What is he doing? And oh wow, uh, best myself does not know about the chunks over here. I think they see each other. Oh, you can't see through the chunks. That's actually a brilliant mechanic. Whoa. So best myself basically didn't even know Jockey was there. He was just breaking the chunks over there without noticing there was already some chunks broken. He Rocky managed to kill one, uh, two of those footmen, I believe. And uh, he's gonna stay there for some time. Peeps are gonna join into the fray and oh, best myself still destroying some chunks there. Ah, some slows being wasted on these uh, creeps right now because... Here comes Jockey, Storm going across and uh, Storm could have been a bit towards the caster though. So Thunderclap following up as a revenge. And uh, Toronto Chieftain down to very low HP, forced to use the TP, and oh, you don't really want to get those trolls too far away. There we go, we're gonna TP max. Would have been cool if he managed to take out a unit though. Now Jockey's gonna be in a situation where. Forces are under attack. Don't think you have any creep camps on your side of the map. I, I don't think. Uh, I think this is the last creep camp on the map. Once this is crept out, there are no more creep camps left. Expansion is up. And uh, about to be fully functional world jockey as he is putting down five peons over there. The item crystal volleyball and iron horn of storm bit. So we're gonna have some extra defense across the board. 1.5 to be exact on each of the units around the crypt lord. Pretty good item for the time being. Could be useful. Definitely gonna be uh, something there. So okay, we just discovered a new mechanic by the rock chunks. The rock chunks are destroyable, but you cannot see past the rock chunks. Jockey was over here, and uh, basically his opponent couldn't see him. And uh, Jockey would escape from this side, and if he would have uh, tried to escape from there, he would have seen his opponent. But what is this? Jockey says, "You're welcome." What are you talking about? Learn something new from Jockey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been playing Warcraft for I don't know uh, over a decade now, but uh, I did not know about this mechanic of the rock chunks where you cannot see beyond the rock chunks there, and you need to uh, basically go around that. So yeah, this is actually a good mechanic and uh, can be in some maps, definitely. Uh, so yeah, if there's some new map makers out there that are making some Warcraft 3 uh, melee maps or custom maps even, like, uh, just make a note of that mechanic, like uh, that ro those rock chunks, uh, even if you could change the model of the rock chunks to look something better, you can use the same ability and oh, Jockey just got his uh, headhunters upgraded to Berserkers, but He's in trouble and oh here comes the undead army from the back line free making a uh, absolutely smashing entrance over here with skeleton warriors and he's spawning more of them although he's kind of strapped inside there got a famous one going down and oh that knight uh, UD's uh, crypt lord almost got taken out there forced to use the TP one of the armies away and uh, best myself is left alone he isn't TPing away Best myself got TP away right now if he wants to save himself, but he's sticking in for some reason. There's really nothing he can do against this big of an army, and that mountain king gonna pay the price for not TPing away. Best myself losing his, uh, and uh, yeah, he basically lost his MK and left the game there. I'm an absolutely smashing entrance there by Tree though. army of skeletons now making their way towards the opponent's side and their opponents already left fun game hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and listening if you have enjoyed what you have seen don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more and i shall see you in the next episode of warcraft day